What's up everybody, John from Pause Games here, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Campaign Killer featuring Sea of Thieves. Now for starters, I want to apologize formally for my yellowish hue on screen here in my webcam uh, view down here. I just try as I may, I just can't seem to lock down a, uh, a color with this camera that I'm using. It's the lighting, it's whatever. I think primarily um, it's a matter of what shirt I'm wearing because the shirt takes up, for whatever reason, a decent portion of the frame, and it chooses not to look at the wall behind me, or my face, or my hat, or anything like that, or the chair. Uh, it chooses to focus on my shirt for some reason at all times. So if I wear a dark shirt, generally it works out well. If I wear a light shirt, or a white shirt, the lightest of all the shirts, uh, for some reason it's just it changes to like this ridiculous, ridiculously warm lighting and there's not a whole lot I can do about it in my current situation my current hardware setup so you know so there's the uh, the elusive stranger or the mysterious stranger sorry that I talked to to become a pirate legend eventually what does it say? Daring divers desired earn the bilge rat's favor and our rewards by defeating new threats to the sea and bringing back their precious treasures. Lorena. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. Probably not. Is that Lorena again? Yeah. What was that? Oh, it was a shadow. I was going to say, everybody just saw that, right? Oh, I should get some um, quests though, right? Talk to Henry the Hoarder. So I'm focusing on the Gold Hoarder uh, Alliance. There's like the Gold Hoarders Alliance, the Merchants Alliance, I think, and uh, some other third thing that I'm not totally sure about. So we're still Gold Swabby. We're like within inches uh, of hitting level 16 uh, until we can hit a level 20. Our goal, to, our goal is to hit level 20, to hit the gold hauler, and then our overall goal, as I mentioned in the previous episode, um, is to hit level 50 uh, and become a pirate legend. But I have to hit level 50 in all three of the starting uh, alliances, I'll call them. So anyway. Let's do a bundle. A bundle raided by the notable Bad Bradford. Away with you. Away with you, okay. Away with me then. Who are you again? Senior trader. How's it going? Merchant Alliance offers. Okay, so yeah, the Merchant Alliance. Yes. Okay. So the Merchant Alliance is another one. Uh. And then this might be. I don't know who Scarlet is. How are you today, Scarlet? Thanks for asking, matey. I'm feeling pretty good. Counted myself lucky, I am, as I've had a little accident with some nails. One of them slipped and stabbed me in the chest. What? Think it might have punctured me lung. Mustn't grumble, though. I can still breathe most of the time. Uh... Hi. Hello there. <laughs> Lady, you got problems. Uh, browse the stock. Shipwright shop. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Do we get to keep these? Are these permanent? <laughs> like, are these permanent customizations? Ooh, I'm gonna pick a cool one. What is that? The scurvy bilge rat? Yes, dude, I'm doing these. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so far out of money, though. In fact, yeah, I can't even afford most of these. Okay, but wait. I can afford that wild... Uh... Hold on. 
I am the bilge rat adventurer, after all. Ocean crawler figurehead, that's kind of cool. Oh, wait, what's the Kraken one? Ooh, the Kraken figurehead. Ermagerd. I like that one. The Kraken hull. Sea dog figurehead. What is this? What do you what do you mean that it has a check mark on it? What is that supposed to mean? Is that implying that I have that already? Because I certainly do not. Shark Hunter. <laughs> Taking the time to customize my ship right now. This is Parrot. Oh, Triumphant Sea Dog. Huntress. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it is a parrot. I knew it was going to be a parrot just by the colors. What is this? Figurehead of the first crew. That's weird. <laughs> Sunshine parrot figurehead. <laughs> Venomous kraken figurehead. That's pretty cool. What is this? No. I feel like I could just spend forever looking at these and trying to decide. Deep Ocean Crawler. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with... Uh... Oh, but what is this? The Inky Kraken. <laughs> I might have to go with the regular Kraken. I'm just blowing a frivolous amount of money on... Nonsense, basically, right? I actually came here looking for a gun. Um, and instead, I am potentially leaving with uh, a Kraken <laughs> mounted to the front of my ship. Okay. There's this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Counting your coins. You spent an inordinate amount of money on something stupid. Achievement unlocked. Kraken Hall, yeah. I don't care about the Kraken flag. Uh, I don't have enough money for the Kraken sails though, so it's gonna look goofy. No, I can't even get the Kraken wheel yet. Requires Master Kraken Hunter commendation. Oof. I'll never get that, will I? And the same thing with the Kraken Cannon. Requires legendary Kraken Hunter commendations. And the Kraken Capstan. Thanks for visiting. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wave that with, with pride. <laughs> Ignoring the obvious fact that... Uh, that I will never, what is all this? These are all the things that are already applied, right? Yeah. Ignoring the obvious fact that I'll never be able to kill a Kraken. Look at how badass my ship looks now, though. Doesn't quite match with that, but. At least now I'm confident in myself. Maybe people will leave me alone now. They won't, but maybe. It's wishful thinking, right? So, I imagine I have to equip that every, or these customizations every time I sign on. It's not just going to stay with this configuration. I could be wrong. I don't know. It doesn't seem like much of anything saves uh, in that regard. Okay, so we did really, really well last time, and I think we're going to try to do it again. It looks like the sun is about to set. <laughs> um, quests received. Oh my god, we got four quests right out of the gate, dude. The Sunken Grove should be preferred. The Sunken Grove. Let's look at the map here. The Wilds. Oh, okay, there we go. The Sunken Grove. Boom, right here. 
So there's that one. Uh, next up is... Oh, we've been to that one already. For sure. I think it's a freaking snake pit, isn't it? Um... What was it called, though? Crap, 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 crap. The Crooked Masts? Was it this one? Oh, it is, baby. I think, right? Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Cool. So we're doing really well right now. Okay, so what's this one? What's that noise, also? Can you stop up there? You're annoying. Okay. On Snake Island. Alright, so we're looking for Snake Island. Shark Tooth Key. There's something deadly down there. Avoid that. Snake Island. Boom. Which I can only imagine is going to be a horrible place to go. And then Crook's Hollow. That's another one that I'm pretty confident we've been to already. <laughs> yeah, right here. Boom. So we have all of our destinations pinpointed now. What's the track, or what's the path? I'm going to say this one first, right? So just like due west, essentially. West, northwest. All right, let's do it, guys. I'm confident. I think we've got a plan here. Let me go up here real quick, as a true adventurer would, and uh, set the bilge rat flag again, the adventurous bilge rat flag. Wait. As is tradition. You know, to get into the spirit of things and everything. Build Rat Adventurer's flag. Flapping in the wind. Beautiful. Let me get a better look at it. There it is, sort of. Ringing the bell to announce our voyage. Commencing. Sliding down the ladder. And then uh, we set sail. Sort of. Wait, before we go, I said west, right? Like west, northwest. Yeah, okay. So let's, uh... If we ship straight out, we're not going to hit anything, are we? Yeah, we're good. So let's raise the anchor. And set sail. Hopefully we reach this, uh... Let's see, west, northwest, right? Ooh, boy, 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 oh. Don't want to hit any of these rocks here. Okay, now we can start turning. <laughs> it's probably, like, right there, right? That's probably it right ahead. I'm trying to set this freaking thingamajig in the right direction. It's so dark on my screen, I still have not resolved the issue. Yes! Head on. This is beautiful. Still have not resolved the issue. What's that noise? With my screen brightness, or my contrast, or whatever it is. Because, I mean, in your screen, what you're seeing, it's like nice and bright and whatever. Okay, on my screen, it's, like, ridiculously dark. Like, the black level is, like, ridiculously high. Samsung TVs, man, they think they're being intuitive and whatnot, but they're just the worst. <laughs> and there's, like, I tried everything. I turned off all the different power-saving options and what have you. It just does not like me, dude. But it is what it is, so... I'll have to just, like, turn the brightness up all the way and hope that when it drops down in the dark to save energy or save whatever whatever it's trying to do, I don't know, uh, it's just not quite as bad as it is right now. But anywho, we are shipping off to our first of four quests uh, attached to this, this voyage. I'm assuming it's this thing surrounded by spires. 
or like rock spires, I know to avoid that glowing light over there because they that spawns ghost ships, uh, as we saw last episode, that will try to murder us. Oh crap, we just... Alright, so we gotta go, like, northwest. Ooh, boy. Crap, 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 crap. I didn't realize it was turning us. The wit, the water. Oh, wait, northwest, northwest, this way. Yeah, it's over there. It's over there, guys. And by guys, I mean I'm all alone, so... Me. It's over there, me. Towards the death trap. Maybe not quite towards the death trap. Maybe just before we get to the death trap, perhaps? Maybe right here, I think. Okay, let's try that on for size. No, it's still northeast now. I'm an idiot and I can't read a map. That's what happened there. Okay, so northeast. We got a full... Full on turn the ship around, essentially. Because we're going right past it like idiots. Our ship is being mesmerized by the uh, glowing impending doom on the horizon in that other direction. Is this it right here? The sunken grove. Yeah, this is it right here. Wow, I'm an idiot. There is a ship over there, guys. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. No, we're running ashore. We did so well last episode. And we're doing so... Bad. Now. Like, we're off to just probably the worst possible start, right? So I'm gonna set sail and get off the coat, off the, you know, the beach, real quick. Can't sink on the beach, but... Okay. Now we go under deck. Oh my god, where's the... Sp Where's the... Yeah, wood barrel. This is not a great way to, uh... Start here. Knowing that there's another ship on this same island. And they're probably coming to kill me. Because that's what they always do. Is there no water on the ground? Oh, my ship on the inside is just purple now, too. Okay. So then... Okay. Um, so the sun is coming up. That's a good start. I'm hoping that this ship just... That other ship just sets sail and leaves me alone. That'd be very good. Very preferable. People can't, like, come on my ship and steal my stuff, can they? I don't really know how this game works in that regard. I still haven't mapped out the multiplayer uh, elements to this game. Okay, which one is it? This one. If treasure ye seek, then head or heed my word, the sunken grove should be preferred. At the small isle to the northwest in search of plunder, lantern raised high in wonder. Okay. Northwest, it said? So over where this other guy is. This other person is. Great. Great! <laughs> I'm just hearing snakes, dude.
That is what it said, right? Is this one? At the small aisle to the northwest. Okay, yeah. Make sure there's nobody swimming out to my freaking thing. So it's this little isle right, island right here? Question mark? See, there's a ship right there. And I'm not here for it, but it looks like it's just like a one-person party, just like mine. So they might be willing to leave me alone. Okay, I hear snakes again, though. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye out over there, though. Because I feel like they're on the island somewhere. Waiting to kill me. That makes me very nervous. That might not even be a real person, but I don't know. Small isle to the northwest in search of plunder. Lantern raised high in wonder. What was that noise? I heard a secondary shot fire. Oh, what the heck? Lag, dude. You better not hit me. That's That would be not fair. Oh, I'm missing, though. Blammo. I, say, I hear secondary fire. Lantern? Raised high in wonder. Do you mean to tell me this is not the right tiny aisle? Is there another one? Oh my god, there are just snakes everywhere, dude. Is this where I go? Oh, is that the northwest, maybe? Okay, so maybe this is... Ooh. That looks like a kraken head. There's just that other ship there. And it's making me nervous. This has to be it. What the heck, dude? I did so well last episode, and this episode we're just garbage. Okay, lantern. Open barrel. Okay. How about now? Anything? No? Lantern. Held high. Oh, oh, oh. Now what does it say? No, nothing. Still. Okay. Held high in wonder. But now what? Like, it's... Okay, I found... Here's some bananas. The small isle to the northwest in search of plunder. Lantern raised high in wonder. Hey, buddy. Random person over there. Care to, uh, help a buddy, help a guy out? Do I just start digging? Ba -ba -da. 
Just dig up this entire island. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Show the lantern? <laughs> Do I show the lantern the, so the thing? This is stupid, bro. This has to be the island. It has to be. It, it makes no sense why this would not be the island. Held high in wonder. I don't know what that means. Other than, like, there's this lantern. It would stand to reason. That. I don't know, you look up or something. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to swim back here, I guess, to the mainland here, and climb up here. Oh, Jesus. Crap. Nope. Run. Still nothing. Blow his top back. Maybe this is the island that it's looking for. Probably not. I am re receiving return fire. Don't know if it's from that ghost up top there or what the deal is. They're still shooting at me though. Whoa there, buddy boy. Calm yourself. Still nothing though. Although this jerk is here now. Leave me alone, all of y'all. I'm gonna eat this banana to revive me a bit. I'm gonna eat both of the bananas to revive me as much as possible. Then we're gonna return to this stupid island. To confirm once and for all that this is not here, dude. What does it want from me? Digging all around. Just gonna dig the entire beach up. Like an idiot, because I don't want to leave this beach. just to find out that I'm an idiot and it was here. It has to be here, right? And I'm assuming it's in the somewhere on the sand and not in the grassy area in the middle. I 
I wish I could just jab in and skip the actual digging. Seems like a waste of energy and a waste of time. All I need to do is just shove my uh, my shovel in, and if it doesn't, if I don't hear a loud hollow bang, we uh, abort. Have I circumnavigated this entire stupid map yet? Or stupid island? Not quite. This sucks. <laughs> Being an idiot and not knowing what to do sucks. Reveal something to me, lantern up high. Earthworms. Just keep on digging, I guess. Is there, like... I, I don't know. This sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I've dug up this entire freaking island already. I know I haven't really, but... I'm about ready to give up on this. Because it's just not... It's not doing anything for me. Let me Google what it means. Uh, oops. Jump over this. Let me look up. What is it? Under Lantern raised high in wonder. Sea of Thieves. Lantern raised high in wonder. So I'm not the only idiot. Okay, tips for riddles requiring the lantern, dude. This is not a... Okay. This is not an uncommon thing, apparently. This may be... Oh, crap. This may be almost entirely unnecessary, but myself and my brother had real difficulty with the lantern riddles, and maybe others did too. Yeah. Thanks, guy on Reddit. Uh, in order to activate the lantern riddle, you must find the required location. What's that noise? What the heck? Oh my god, dude. Alright, we're bouncing out of here. Swim faster. Can I just board this person's ship? No, I won't. That'd be rude. That'd be rude. But we do have to bounce up out of here. And get back to my ship. I'm gonna be really pissed if I get over there. And uh, there's somebody sitting on my ship. After I so... How do I drive the rowboat? Use oars, there we go. Alright, so we're going to sail this rowboat. Out to my ship. 
to say, even though it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere at the moment, I still haven't totally mastered the rail the rowboat. So we're going to get back to my ship, where I probably can't be assaulted. Oops, okay. Swim, dude. <laughs> Swim in a straight line. Oops. Okay. So I will re-up on ammo while I'm here. No stowaways, right? So that can't be a real person. I just can't imagine it's uh, a real person on that ship over there. Since they haven't moved this entire time. Um, okay, so what does this say now? Uh, ba -ba -ba. In order to da -da -da -da, you must find the required location, equip your lantern, and then hold the lantern up high. I totally did that. Do this by holding the left trigger or equivalent PC control. I did that. Uh, for the longest time, I did not know the lantern had an alternative or an alternate control. Oh, wait. And had even abandoned quests when I spent a long time stuck at this stage of the riddle. Found no help when Googling, so hopefully this acts as a resource for anyone else who has gotten stuck. So, Sir Doobie, on Reddit, shout out to you, sir. You are awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, I guess I'll wait until... Sunrise, I don't know. And then go back out. Actually, I might as well... Maybe I'll sail my ship over there. And just... Let me raise... Let me set the sail length to, like, really, really... Whatever. I don't think that's a real person over there, either. Uh, with that ship. So I'm less worried about parking my ship nearby. Because unless they've been just on this island, not returning to their ship this entire time for like a hot minute. Okay, wait. A little bit. say so it's not the first island correct it's the second island <laughs> did that ship just evaporate is it just not there anymore <clears throat> so pull off the coast a bit Okay, so yeah, no, it's this one right here. Right? So stop the ship right here. I think, unless it's that one over there. Oh my god, that scared the living shit out of me. And you know what? Oh my god, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. And I don't think this is the right island, either. I think it's the other one. I think this is the first one I stumbled upon. And was incorrect in assuming that was the right one. I think it's this one over here. It's the one with the lantern, wherever that may be. Yeah, I think it's this one over here. Uh, skirt! So 
Maybe I'll just snipe out some ghosts right here. Spend the night doing that. I'm gonna blow your top back. Blammo, there's one. <clears throat> It's over here just guarding the island or something. <clears throat> Some kind of nonsense. What is that up there? Anyway. Guarding the island for what, bud? I don't know what that noise was. It sounded, it sounded spooky, though. <laughs> Alright. And last but not least. Goodbye. No? You're going to stay alive for whatever reason? You proud of yourself, bud? Dead yet? There we go. Okay. I'm gonna jump over there, and I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, so it's... Oh, they had to have done it, right? Yeah. Find the campfire at the fishing camp on the west shores. I wonder what this journey will yield. Stride eight paces east, then ye shovel wield. Okay. So, east. Or west, right? Sorry, I'm an idiot. The campsite on the west shore. I believe that's what it said, right? Let me just confirm, just to be safe. Yeah. Fishing camp on the west shores. Still some freaking nonsense over there. What even is that? Okay. Is it dead? Be dead. Good. West Shore is looking for a fishing camp. Is this a fishing camp? How do I know if it's a fishing camp? It looks like a fishing camp, right? This has to be... Oh, there's a snake. Okay. On the west shores. Has to be this. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but I hope it is. Wonder what this river to do. Stride eight paces east. Weast. Okay. Yeah, this has to be. This is the westmost point of the island. So now we're going east. So this way. Towards the island. Eight paces, you said? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Still facing east? Eh, kind of. It's more like that. So I feel like it should be in this general vicinity. What the hell, man? Okay. So once again, I'm having so much trouble with this stupid thing. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
uh, 10? I don't, this sucks. Oh, uh, yep, of course. Yeah, yeah. I missed. Oh, my God. How about you chill back, though? And leave me to my business, okay? What is that guy doing, huh? No! I blew myself up. He had a bomb barrel? Well, yeah, I guess offer my soul to the fairy man, because what else am I going to do? I forget. Is it going to bring me back to this spot, though? Or is it going to drop me somewhere else? Did I just literally waste an entire episode of Campaign Killer trying to get this stupid treasure, finally achieving, and then dying by my own hand? Uh, problem. Guys? We have a problem. The, the door's not open. Oh, okay. Never mind, it, it opened. I was nervous there for a second. Just drop me back on my ship and I will be forever grateful, fairy man. Then I can re re reload and uh, get back to the beach, get my treasure, and this won't be a completely wasted episode. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm, uh, looks like I'm good. Oh, okay, so yeah. Because I, I found the treasure... Hopefully the treasure is still here. Island visit added to log. Oh, God. I hope it didn't just reset me. Is that where I died? That'd be kind of cool if that's where I dropped dead. But, um, Treasure. Oh, thank the good Lord. Nope. Not, not, not thank you yet. Still got an idiot coming after me. Or a multitude of idiots coming after me. You with a rifle. I gotta dig this up quick and get out of here. I'm gonna bounce. Now the odds of me being able to complete this quest in about an hour, an hour's time, is not likely. <clears throat> and we are coming up on the 50, about the 50 minute mark here on the episode. I try, try is the key word, uh, to keep episodes of Campaign Killer relatively short, I want to say, um, in like the hour to hour and 15 minute length range. Um, don't always succeed at that, obviously, <clears throat> but that's what I try to do, and we're coming up on that pretty quickly. So I have three more quests. Where, where to next? <clears throat> okay, so pretty much due south, south, southwest. So let's do it. Let's set sail and see what we can do here. Yeah, this has been a really bad episode. In comparison to last episode, where we did extremely well, this has been a very sad excuse of an episode. I ran ashore. Uh... Wasted a lot of time just customizing my ship, which was probably dumb of me. Which way am I going? South? I think it was like south, south. I'm thinking it was. it's that over there. could be very wrong though let me check the map again what am i aiming at yeah i am wrong i need to go a little bit more southwest what was that
Oh my god. I heard a bad noise, guys. I think it's that one right there. We're straight ahead now. So I'm gonna have to try to avoid those rocks. Those pointy rocks. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Just change my course ever so slightly to hopefully sail right on by them comfortably. And I'm going to set the sail length to maximum to try to get there as quickly as humanly possible. Um, yeah. So the seas aren't particularly dangerous today. Oh yeah, I died too. I meant I forgot to mention that. I did die as well, so it's been a particularly bad episode here on Campaign Killer on Sea of Thieves, but, uh, you know, we'll keep on keeping on, keep our heads up high, our sails, uh, our anchors up high, and our sails down low. Oh yeah, we're going straight at it, we're good. So that is indeed the island that we're aiming for, straight ahead, just gotta keep on track here. I'm going to cut in a little bit now that we're just about past these rocks. Okay. That looks like a death trap over there. That's, that's cool. Like an oil rig or like an oil refinery or something. That's weird. All right. Lightning in the skies. Sail on, sail on. So we did hit level 16, though, uh, with the gold hoarders. So that's cool. That was kind of our goal for the episode, because it was, like, so close. <clears throat> so close in our grasp. But, uh... Oh, yeah. The vast majority... <clears throat> Excuse me. The vast majority of time in this spent in this game is actually sailing uh, the seas, which I'm not opposed to, but I don't know. Part of me wants to say, like, oh, I wish there was more to it than this. But another part of me, yeah, we're, right, we're here. Another part of me is like, no, I don't, because I can't handle anything more. I can barely handle sailing as it is. So I think this is the one with just the map. This doesn't have a clue attached to it. I think this one's the one that just has the map and like X marks the spot. It is about to rain. I mean, it is raining, but we're getting hit by a, a massive storm right now, it looks like. So this is probably a good time to uh, reach our destination anyway. Oh, crap. Okay. So we are set to turn straight out. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Hopefully this, with my anchor lowered, it doesn't rotate my ship at all. Because that would cause some damage, like hitting rocks and stuff. I almost feel inclined to uh, stay on the ship in case of any kind of damage. Just because my ship sounds so freaking rickety right now. But let me... This is where I am right now, right? So which way is north? Just to confirm, I want to zoom in on the map here. Crooked masts. So yeah, this is where I am right now. Uh, it's kind of to the side. Oh, there are two treasures here, actually, it looks like. There are two X's on here. So the north and to the south. Uh, is this really not going to work because of the storm right now? What a joke. 
This sucks. I just got struck by lightning. Cool. Doesn't make any sense at all. That I would get struck by lightning right now, but... Especially below deck. I don't even know what to do right now, dude. Lightning is striking specifically all around me right now. And like in my mind, it's like get below deck. But in Lightning's mind, it's like, haha, you can't hide from me, dummy. Okay, so s I think that way is south. So I'm at the northmost point, I believe. So if this is north, it should be right there, sort of. I'm going to try it. Screw it. What, what do I have to lose, right? Other than my life, my treasure that I've gotten. It'd be a total waste of an episode. It's fine. It's going to swim and try not to get struck by lightning. That's the goal right now. What is that over there? Better not be another ship. So that's south. That's due south, so Yeah, this is this would be due north then. Right? And we're on this little Okay, so we should be right like it should be like right over here or something, right? Ish. Let me start digging, I guess, right? <gasps> no freaking way, dude. That was too easy. Captain's chest. So this is terrifying. What if we just get struck by lightning right now and just die? Just dead. So I'm going to make it a point to get this other treasure chest off this island now. As soon as I can figure out how to climb with it. Thank you. I imagine there's probably water down here again, yeah. So let me get all this water below deck out of here, preferably. There we go, we're all dried up for the time being. Just gonna fill back up again, but... And I get struck by lightning! Yay! Because why not? Right? I don't even know how to do anything about that now. This sucks, dude. And now do I have to scoop it back up and get it off the boat? Back to the ocean with you. What was that? Was there more fire? Or is that the sun coming up? Is that the sun coming out or am I on fire still? I think that's the sun coming out and pirate ships. And by sun, I mean moon, I guess. I don't know. I have half a mind to cut my losses and, uh, bail now. But I can't. I'm stuck here anyway, right? So, why bother? Alright. So this is still north. Still north, hasn't changed. Uh, so now we're going to the far south of the island, which would be like over in that, over yonder. 
I know it's nighttime and there are ghosties out here too, though. Which is a problem. Like lots of them, probably. They were like figure eight formations almost. So I think the other one should be over here, kind of. Trying to avoid snakes at all costs. And not doing a great job at it. Crap. You jerk off. Did you die? No, you didn't die. Of course not. What the heck? You can't just run at me and kill me? That's not fair. Damn it. Did I get it that time? Of course not. No. Why would I ever have gotten it? Crap. Missed. Is it gone now for good, or is it still here? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are they all around me, or is it just that one? Not that that one makes it any better, but it's slightly less terrible. Nope, there's another one in there. And it's the big boy. Alright, I'm out. Jump into my death. Ooh, I survived somehow. I'm about ready to just leave this treasure behind, call it a day, and, uh, you know, try again next time. Try to be better next time. I think that's what I am going to do. I mean, if this storm would clear up at least, I'd be able to get out of here. Because right now I couldn't, I can't tell if it's day or night. It's obviously night based on the number of um, monsters that are spawning on this island. That's the only way I can gauge what time it is, though. And from and beyond that, um, I think the storm is moving this way. So I'm going to try to find an outpost. But I, I can't sail away with the storm either. <clears throat> but hopefully I do have some food rations on my ship uh, that can bring me back to life, or else I am screwed, because one more strike of lightning, and I'm dead. I might not even make it back to the ship. I could be struck dead by lightning right here, right now. Merciless game. The game is extremely merciless. Oh, that sounded close. That sounded real close to killing me. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> so it's, it, it would appear that we made it back to the ship, but nothing's stopping the lightning from striking my ladder. So let me get below deck real quick. Oh boy, this is great. Okay. Oops. Literally the opposite. Is that a TV? No, it's, I was going to say, is that a TV? I just threw a bucket of water at the TV. There's no TV on my ship. There should be. But there's not. Yeah, I think this is the point where it's just endless water. Yeah, see, it's... There's nothing I can do about it at that point, I don't think. Um, until I get struck by lightning again. So how close am I to the li the closest outpost? Shipwreck Bay. 
Oh my god. There are no outposts around me. Except for this one right here. I guess I can get rid of this one, right? <laughs> sea post. Kraken's Fall. Kraken's Fall is the one that is uh, extremely dangerous. Do you think we can make it? Let's check my my compass. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't appear that we can make it right now. Um, because my compass is all out of whack, and there's there's no way we're making it. So we're gonna take the gold. Gold discovered. How long is this storm gonna last, though? Is it almost over? It looks like it, it's just like a super slow moving storm. And it's right on top of us still. We need to get. You know what? We're gonna. I think we're gonna go for it. Because lightning just struck right behind me, and I'm tired of this nonsense. So if we can get north, which is what way? North is straight that way, towards that big old rock right there. Screw it, let's do it. This is either going to kill us, or it's going to get us off this stupid rock. I, I'm not waiting around for this other treasure, I'm done. I'm done with it. Although we are going to crash into this rock right now. Which is great. Maybe not. Lightning just struck right next to us again. Alright, we're going to try to get clear of this freaking storm, actually. Pick up a little bit of speed here. And hold the wheel steady. We have to go over there, I know, but... It's not really a, a viable option at the moment. So as soon as I hear a crack in my hull, I'm going to drop anchor, patch it up, and then we'll look at the map and continue our voyage. This sucks. This really sucks. And there's the money shot. Okay. Okay. Let's say, where's the... Where's the leak, ma'am? Okay. So let's dry up this ship. That overboard. Surprised there's not that much water on the ship still. Okay. So. Let's look at the map. Where are we? Shipwreck, shipwreck Bay. Right now, we're pointed directly at Isle of Last Worlds. We need to go to the left. 
turn to the left. Now, directly to our left, we should see... Nothing. We can't see anything to the left. This is so bad. We are so screwed. How much water are we taking on right now? It's one last waterfall or water load out of here. Okay, yeah, so to the left there, we're avoiding that nonsense over there. Here we go. Nope, I lied. We just broke again. Never mind. This sucks. This sucks so bad, dude. And this storm is just not going anywhere. I'm about ready to say, screw it. We got our gold out of it, and that's the end. But... I don't want to do that. And... Run. Going slightly to the left here. And now, hold steady. I go back to the right a little bit. Just ever so slightly. Pull to the right. Oh wait, we're going the wrong way, aren't we? Crap. Now we want to go straight. Or a little bit to the left, I guess, right? Oh my god, there are rocks right there, dude. We're actually trying to weave right between. This is terrible. Oh, there goes my ship again. You know what? Is this a giant rock formation I'm coming up on right now? Holy crap, it is. Okay. Holy shit on a shingle. Let's, um... You know what? I'm lost at sea. Consider myself lost at sea. There's no way I'm getting out of here, dude. We're screwed. There's the big old rock right here. Which is great. Um, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know where we are. We're so close, and yet we're so far away. I was just struck by lightning again, wasn't I? Ahoy me squ- What the hell? Yeah, no, this is... I say we abandon ship right now. Because there's no end to the storm in sight, right? I mean, there. But which way is, are the winds blowing? This way. So we're sailing... We're following the storm, basically, right? <sighs> Screw it. We'll try one more time. Run. Get a hold of the, uh... The wheel. And turn hard out of the rocks. Oh my god, we might have just gained control. Back of our ship for the, for the moment. We survived, guys. We might have just survived this. I think, like I said, I think we are actually following... Um... The storm, unfortunately. But we have to get in that direction, right there. I think that's it. Yeah, no, we are not here for the Isle of the Last Words. 
Sorry. All this hard work will not be for nothing. I do so declare. Drop the, uh, the sail. So as long as we stay to the, the side here, to the right. Like I said, we are going right back into the storm, but I think if we can stay on the border, I don't think... I think we're just coasting along the, uh, we're like cresting the storm, so to speak. Although, cutting through the waves like this is going to be a problem, I think. I fear. And by problem, I mean, like, hull damage to the ship. More hull damage than we already had. If we can get to a point, though, a nautical mile added to the log, sail miles across the sea while on a voyage. Yeah. I'm thinking that if we can get to a point going this direction or the storm eases up then we should be good like for good the problem right now I'm not going to let go of the ship actually or the wheel actually the problem right now is that we are I think we are basically chasing the storm with our ship which is obviously no good I'm not even 100% sure, let me clarify. I'm not even 100% sure this island that we're aiming at uh, is actually the correct island, but I'm pretty sure. I've got a really good gut feeling that that's where we're supposed to be. So all in all, if that succeeds, um, it hasn't been a bad job that we did navigating the storm. I mean, the, the whole episode was a, a pretty big flop, I'd say. We can cut out now. I do want desperately to check the map. In fact, I'm going to really, really quickly. Get down there, dude. Oh my god. No, we're going. Crap, 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 crap. Turn around. We missed it. Because, of course, we did. Was it right there? Ooh, but if we sail this way... Yes! That's what I was hoping for. We're sailing out of the storm. So I think we're sailing away from the storm now. We unnecessarily sailed back into it. But I think now we're intentionally... In order to get to our destination, we have to sail out of it. Like, directly out of it. It might be right there. Or right there. I'm gonna aim at this one over here because it looks pretty. It looks more pleasant. Oh, we're going right back into the storm. Good. Good, 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 good. Before we get too deep in here, let me make sure this is even the right direction. Are we pointing directly at it? Yes, we are, baby. Okay. I'm willing to do it then. So this is our, outpo our outpost, boys and girls. We made it. Only an hour and 20 minutes into the voyage. And we only got through half of it, basically. Okay. So let me set the sail a little bit higher. We made it to the Dagger Tooth Outpost. Yes! Let's cut in here. Or cut out, I should say. To avoid running ashore. I would say that's probably the best docking job, though, I've ever done. So that's cool. Can we get down here, please? Alright, the captain's chest. This one's the one I'm... This is the one that I'm most proud of, because it's just pretty looking. And it's the one that I fought a storm to collect. It'd be nice if the gold hoarder would be uh, right on the pier here, but it's fine. I'll come to you, jerk. 
<clears throat> Gold Hoarder. Where are you, sir? Where's the Gold Hoarder, dude? Is he right here? I think it is. Hello, sir. Uh, sell Captain's Treasure. Cool. And now I'm gonna go get the other treasure. Captain's Chest sold. Money. And now let me go get the other piece of treasure. Reputation increased. Oh, I thought I already was 16. That's lame. Whatever. The storm is still rolling in, I think. I think it just hasn't even reached here yet. Are there multiple items, or is it just this one thing? Ornate carafe. Whatever that is. Let me just, uh... I'm not gonna run the whole tra the whole chest. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Because you can't run with this tiny thing either. I thought I could run... I could, I would be able to move faster with this little tiny thing in comparison to the full chest. That's not the case, though. It doesn't matter what you're holding. It's still... If you're holding anything, you're slow. Alright, Buster. Sold. Ornate carafe sold. Alrighty. So that's where we leave off. Quite the episode here. Quite the episode. Interesting. An interesting episode. Um, Gold Hoarder's reputation increased. Beautiful. We're about, eh, I'd say a third of the way through uh, until level 17 with the Gold Hoarders. So with that being said, there's my beautiful new ship fully customized this episode. The Bilge Rat Adventurers with the Kraken on the front. Beautiful ship. Beautiful ship. Anyway, um, yeah, got struck by lightning, died, had a crappy time, but we, we got through. So until next time, I'm John from Pause Games. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications for when I go live here on the channel in the near future. And when I upload and premiere new video content such as this, new episodes of Campaign Killer featuring Sea of Thieves. Uh, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, this and every video uploaded to the Pause Games YouTube channel is in order to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research. So if you want to learn more about the project, jump on over to our official website at pause.tv. That is P-O-Z-Z dot TV. But until next time, like I said, I'm John from Pause Games, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.